Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to cover something that's kind of uh, for people that are just getting into RDAs. I've had a few people mention in the comments and ask me um, how to actually set up an RDA. Now this is something that I've done most of the time off camera just because it takes so much time uh, to get like your coils right and everything. So I kind of do it off camera and then come back. But today I wanted to do a video on how to set up your RDA with two different coils um, and depending on what RDA you have, things are going to be a little different from the tools that you're going to use. Uh, but today we're going to be changing out the drop dead and I have the flat screws in there. So we're just going to use this flat screwdriver. Okay. So to get started, what you're going to want is a pair of tweezers, a tool, like a flathead screwdriver in this case a pair of snips, some new cotton, and your coil of choice, and of course, your RDA that you're gonna be using. So let's uh, zoom up a little bit and start ripping this thing apart. As you can see, I haven't really used these uh, very much. I've changed out the cotton once and cleaned up the coils, but as you see, the coils are kinda getting a little dark right there, so I wanted to go ahead and replace those. So we're gonna go ahead and take this old cotton out and remove the old coils, get everything cleaned up and start with the new. Now that we've got those old, that old cotton out, we're gonna loosen these screws right here to be able to pull out the old coils. As you can see, they are dark black right there. So it is time to replace these. And we're gonna be replacing these with two fused Clapton twists. This is 28 gauge, three millimeter hole right there. You see that cool little design as it moves? That's where that twisted it beforehand. These are pre-made coils from Coil master, so if you're looking for a good set of coils, you can reach out to them. But okay, guys, that is your drop dead. See, it's got like the bunny rabbit ears, but you'll cut your leads from the inside more like the drop. Okay, so you're going to take your coil right here and put it inside your leads right there. And you can see it is standing up way too tall. So we are going to cut these because it does go so far up. I am going to pre-cut these a little bit with my snips to make them just a little bit smaller so it can fit in there a little better. Yeah, see that dropped right down in there. Perfect. Now with most of the time with your RDAs, you are going to want to have them right about the line of your airflow. So you see, I've got it at probably a good spot right about there. So I like to, you can use a jig or one of these small screwdrivers to hold the coil in place. Once you get it in place, then you just tighten down these screws and then you can take it and straighten these coils up a little bit, just like that. Let's check that airflow. Once again, with these longer coils, it does help to pre-cut them. Just don't cut them too far up or they're not going to fit. Drop them down in there. Going to take this, straighten the coil up, adjust it to about the same height, and tighten it down. This this is um, the rabbit ear style. So the your coils are very high. So you want to make sure that they're not going to touch the top drip cup, or it's gonna short out. So let's just without batteries or anything in there. You want to do all of this without the batteries in or on a build station, one or the other. 
So we're gonna put this on here. And you can see down in there, we're not quite touching that drip cup. That's what we're wanting. We don't want it, we want it high enough to match that top line of that airflow, but we don't exactly want to be touching any of the metal. Okay? I think it looks pretty good. It could be straighter. This is hard to do from uh, sitting behind the camera. It's a lot easier doing this and uh, facing it one on one. I'm looking through the camera screen to do this. It's a little more difficult. But yeah, so you are gonna put so you are gonna put one lead from your coil to one side and the other side on the other. Now that's gonna make that connection. You see that one side is that brass or gold plating, the other is the stainless steel. You want to do that, not really this way and this way. You want to do it opposite to make that connection of positive and negative. Now you'll see right down in there. You'll see the extra lead. You're going to take your snips and reach up in there and cut those off. Because you don't want any chance of it getting down in there and touching the metal. Okay, now that you have those leads cut, see down in there, you can turn your mod on and actually test. So with this, you're just going to dry hit it like this to warm up those coils. All right, you see how it's not heating up from the center? You want to take a pair of tweezers and just strum. You want to just pulse. You want these coils to be heating up from the inside out and both at the same time. See that? Strum it with your ceramic tweezers. The point in strumming is to remove any hot spots and you get it all completely even. All right, I think I've got those just about even. So we're gonna let these cool down and uh, we'll wick it up and test it out. Now to wick this up, we are gonna be using cotton bacon, but there is a lot of other options out on the market. But you do wanna make sure that it is completely organic cotton. You don't want to go to the store and just get like, uh, say, some cotton balls and use those. You, you would not want to do that. But as you can see, it'll come in these little strands like this. It just kind of pulls apart. Now, that right there, see, it is too much. It's kind of a, a game to find out what the right amount is for it. But we're going to pull this in half. probably pull it in half again we're gonna try this now whenever you go to put this in you don't want it to be pulling on the coil you want it to just kind of slide in evenly so you're gonna to try to twist both the ends if you do it like this it's going to twist the end without twisting the center because you want it to stay fluffy that's going to soak up the e-liquid the best if you keep it nice and fluffy. So just twisting it on the ends alone is going to give you that so you can stick it through the coil. Stick it in our coil. Grab that end and pull it through. See how that's not pulling that coil? That's how you want it to be. You don't want it to really pull that coil. You just want the cotton to flow through it. Okay, now at this point, um, it, this is really going to be based on the depth of your drip cup. So you are going to want to cut it kind of because it's going to go down into that drip cup. So we're going to cut it to fill just about the bottom out of that. So we're going to cut right about there. And right about there. Get that a little more 
centered. Go ahead and wick up that other side. So the tighter that you wick your cotton, um, the less spit back you're going to have, which is uh, the e-liquid getting hot and popping up into your mouth. So you, you do want to make sure that it's tightly in there, but not tight enough to be moving the coils around. So we're going to cut this cotton to match the other side. All right. That looks pretty good. So I like to thin out my cotton on the sides and kind of fluff them up. This just kind of helps with uh, getting the e-juice down into them instead of it just being, you know, one piece. Now. Now this next part is also going to be based off of the RDA that you are making or that you're building. So where you actually put the cotton is going to make a big difference. Now this can either be squonked, which means there's a little bottle in the bottom and you push and the e-juice comes up through and into the reservoir here at the bottom, or you're going to just be dripping e-juice onto it. So what I like to do is just push cotton into the reservoir like so do this on both sides now with this one we have the airflow set up here on the sides so you definitely want to make sure not to completely cover the inside of this because you want that airflow to get up underneath those coils. So if you do have too much cotton down in there, you might want to think about uh, thinning it out a little more so that way you're not uh, blocking that airflow from getting up and around those coils. There is the fused Clapton build that I've got in there. This is really fluffy, nice cotton. Uh, based off the cotton that you choose to use, we'll also be a big dictator on the flavor that you get off of an RDA. An RDA can be fantastic and give off some of the best flavors, but if it's not wicked right, it's not gonna give off good flavor at all. Okay guys, that is the basic instructions on how to actually build this RDA, and this is the Drop Dead RDA. If you haven't seen the video for this RDA, I'll link it right there in the card. You can check that out. But uh, let's take this up top. I'll show you how to fill it full of juice and then uh, we'll vape on it. Welcome back guys. So we are going to be vaping on Naked's line. This is the Lava Flow. It's a uh, strawberry pineapple with a touch of coconut. And it's, it's very, very good. If you haven't tried it, think about checking it out. Uh, but so here we've got the Drop Dead RDA all uh, set up and everything. So. We are going to be dripping this. So what you're wanting to do is take some of your e-juice and drip it straight on the coils. You can even get it in between the coils with this build, but you really want to drip it into that cotton. You really want to get that cotton nice and saturated. And guys, this with it having the two coils and it being that three millimeters, it really holds a lot of juice. Like I don't have the barrel on it protecting it from overflowing and I'm not really worried about it because this right here holds so much juice. Let's give it a try. All right, so you're going to line up these little notches right here with the notches on the barrel, okay? Then uh, picking your airflow, that's kind of different for each person. It just depends on what it is you like. Um, I like to have the airflow mostly open on this, but I haven't tested this build out yet, so we'll see. Um, and then I would like to have the airflow actually lined up directly with the coils. At 60 watts, it's reading 0.44 resistance, running 5 volts to get this.
That is such good flavor coming off of that. Wow. Okay, so the the Drop Dead is my currently my favorite RDA. If you haven't seen that, the card will pop up around here, and you can go check that out. Um, right now, I've got it on my Vupu Drag. If you haven't seen the video for that, it'll be linked in the show notes below. Okay, the cool part about these is it's not a tank, which is good and bad. So the the good is that you can literally just drip your e-liquid right down. You don't have to, this, the drip tip, the drip cup, you don't have to take any of that off. You can literally just drip right down inside there. Try to get it in between those two coils and it's going to soak up. Uh, a lot of people, because an RDA does take longer to fire up than your typical, say, mesh tank, like, say, the Mesh Pro right here from Freemax, this is going to take a little bit longer to, to heat up and, and, and atomize and get that vapor going. So a lot of people like to prime it, which is where you blow into the RDA before you suck, and that looks like this. So you'll see the uh, vapor actually come out of the air flows. Let me raise this up a little bit and you'll see. We're at 65 now. So that priming it is going to give time for that the e-juice to vaporize and actually get into your mouth. Um, to where if you were just hitting it, you would just be, see how it didn't come out of the airflow that time? Once it's warmed up, once the coils have warmed up, you don't really need to prime it. But if it's been sitting for a minute, I would advise you to prime it just because you are going to get that, whenever you do go to inhale, you're going to get that vapor instead of just air coming through there. Another thing that you can do, but it is kind of dangerous, um, if you have the barrel off like this and you're showing the cotton and coils, um, if you do drip a lot of liquid on there, uh, you can burn some of that off before to avoid spit back. That's just holding that fire button down and you see it's going to kind of go crazy. But it is going to throw hot e-juice all over your hand or whatever's around you. But um, it is a very easy way to, if you don't want to prime it, or you can just do that ahead of time and then take a hit. Pros and cons about using an RDA. Pros, you get to build your own, uh, you, you get to build your own coils or you can use pre-made coils, but you're getting more in depth with vaping. You're actually gonna learn a lot about Ohm's Law and stuff like that, which I'm doing a video on very soon. Uh, but this, I just wanted to give you kind of the basics of building an RDA. Uh, this is my favorite RDA. Please check it out if you haven't got it because this thing's fantastic. Uh, pro, you're going to get the best flavor from an RDA. Uh, it might take you some getting used to if you're used to your uh, traditional tanks or any or your sub-ohm tanks or anything like that. It's going to take some getting used to with this, but you're going to get more customization and better flavor from an RDA than you are from a tank. Cons. Now I can go with the cons a little bit the same as the pros. You are going to be building this. So for some of you that's going to be a pro and for some of you that's going to be a con. Uh, for me it's a pro. I enjoy getting down in there and, and figuring out how I'm going to set up the coil and changing out the coils to be better flavor or more vapor. You can kind of customize it to where you want. But for some of you that's going to be a con. You kind of just want a pod system or a sub ohm vape like this to where you can just pop a coil in there, fill it up, and you can go. Uh, con, you have to drip this. If you don't, um, every few hits, drip some more e-juice on there, you're going to get a dry hit, which if, if you don't know what that is, it, it's horrible, and I hope you don't ever find out what it is, um, but it's essentially just burning the cotton. So when you breathe in, you're breathing in that burnt cotton, and it does not taste good at all. Um, you're also going to go through juice a lot faster using an RDA, but for some of you, that's not really a big deal. For some of you, it will be. 
Uh, I don't mind going through the juice just because I'm getting that better flavor. So I'm gonna drip on this again. As you see, I've already dripped on this twice, but I'm just gonna drip it right down the center of that barrel. And it's gonna get on that cotton. That's the great thing about the drop dead. There are some other RDAs you cannot do that with. You need to take the entire drip tip off to get down in there. But uh, with the drop dead, you can just kind of pour your juice right in there. So I'm gonna up the wattage. We're gonna knock it up to 80. We're gonna see what it'll do with that. My fan's on, so it's kind of moving the vapor around. You're not really seeing the clouds that are coming off of it, but uh, you are gonna be able to go to a lot, a lot more wattage differences. Like these coils right here are gonna have a best between say 60 and 90. And uh, these are gonna be the same, but you're gonna have a little bit more draw on where you can play with that. Okay, so guys, that is the basic setup for this RDA. Um, they're all essentially different. Uh, the leads might look a little different on yours, depending on which RDA you have. Um, this kind of has that drop-in style where you just drop your coils in. Uh, depending on the coils that you get, you might have to pre-cut them, uh, or you can just drop them down in there and cut them after you tighten them up and get them in place. A lot of RDAs work that way. And some, you once the coil's in there, you can't cut your leads at all. Um, so um, they sell uh, this little plastic piece that you can see and based off of what RDA you have, it shows you exactly when you drop it down in there where to cut your leads. Those are worth looking into. They're only like two to five dollars. Um, I don't have one, I choose to do it this way. Um, but sometimes if uh, a lot of the newer RDAs are actually coming with those and you can just snip it and it's very, very quick. I must say a lot of the sub ohm tanks are getting very, very good at their flavor and consistency with the vape but you're not gonna beat what you can get and the customization that you can get with an RDA. But that's it guys, thanks for coming along. If you liked this video or found it helpful, give it a big thumbs up, think about subscribing, or commenting down below and letting me know what you thought. Uh, how about check out my other channel, it's just Tanner Watson, it's gonna be linked somewhere around here. But uh, think about sticking around, catching some of my other videos. We put them out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We have a lot more vapes and tanks and stuff coming very, very soon. So think about sticking around, guys. Thanks for watching.